and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film another tutorial. Yes, that's right, I said another one. But anyway, um, sometimes you know you go through your closet and you find like an old outfit or a pair of shoes that you haven't worn in a while and it just like sparks some interest and inspires you. Well, I was going through my beauty drawer and came across my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette and I've used it in some videos before but I just came across the um, kind of like darker colors in the palette like punk and serious and blackout um, so if you guys have this palette then you'll know it's these ones here these like dark panel of colors here I don't know if you can see that but anyway um, it inspired some like fall colors for me so I was like okay well I'm definitely feeling the darker colors I love fall it's my favorite time of year so why not do a tutorial I look based on that. So we're going to be using that and I might possibly jump into the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty palette. Mine is so ghetto fabulous, but I love it. Um, I'm basically like hitting pan on all my favorite colors, but I just thought with how neutral this palette is and how matte it is, somehow we'll be able to incorporate that into the look today. So yeah, without any further ado, I want to kind of use as many drugstore products with this as I can since we're using a higher end palette and I was in Ulta yesterday and I picked up the Colossal Big Shot Mascara um, this is Baddest Black and this is from the Makeup by Shayla collection so I'm excited to try this and I also picked up my old school favorite my lash sensational this is the full fan effect mascara so this one has that fanning brush on it and also the smaller bristle bristles <laughs> I get like so ahead of myself when I talk you guys like I can't help it but anyway <laughs> bristles um, so yeah I'm excited we'll figure out what we're gonna use there and um, yeah, let's get into it. So I want to prime my skin first, and I've been using this NYX Honey Do Me Up, so I want to try that today. And we're going to be working with Maybelline's Fit Me Matte and Poreless, and I'm going to be rocking 220 and 128. So let's do it. And um, I like this Do Me Up. I just kind of spoke about it in my last video. It's different. Um, I don't know. It really works for me. I do have kind of more dry skin. So it does work really well for me. I don't know if you're on the oily side how you're going to like it, but I will say it absorbs quickly. And it definitely leaves a nice tacky finish, so I feel like my foundation definitely sticks to it better. I'm just spreading this foundation with my BH Cosmetics flat brush and then we're going to kind of buff it a little bit and then use our beauty blender. Now the Maybelline foundation is actually pretty light and sheer in my opinion. Um, I know it says like more medium to full coverage. I personally think that it's more buildable medium. Um, but I like putting it on with a flat brush because I feel like it really thins it and shears it so it doesn't look heavy. And then this way, if you want to layer it, you can layer it without it looking like you have a mask on. And this is just a flat top buffing brush. Brush. <laughs> Enunciate Nicole. Um, from It Cosmetics. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with a dampened beauty blender and just kind of make sure I bounce and press this foundation nice and deep into my pores. Alright, so going into our Urban Decay Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette, I'm going to take a mixture of the colors Stark and um, Anaheim and blend them on a BH fluffy brush and start working that into my crease. And I'm going to kind of circle it out towards 
And when you work with um, a blending brush, like especially a fluffy brush, don't push too hard. You really just want to kind of let the bristles glide across your eye so that this way you're getting placement but you're not having like heavy, harsh um, streaking and it doesn't look like you have a black and blue eye basically. Next thing I want to do is take an M330 from Morphe and go into that color zone which is a really pretty kind of like fawnish colored brown and we're going to take that also into the crease a little bit more tapered and tighter into the socket but then we're going to kind of circle it and blend it upwards towards the brow bone. This is a little bit deeper than um, Anaheim and Stark. So we want to kind of use this to really start smoking out this eye look. And then we're going to come around the corner here. Now we're going to take a Morphe M441 and go into that Naturally Pretty palette from IT Cosmetics and using the color All Heart, um, this is kind of like a really cool hybrid color. It's almost pinky, almost purpley. It's kind of like a really cool tone mauve color. So I want to take that and just work that on a tapered brush right into the socket line. I feel like it adds a little bit of a variation to the crease and the socket and it's just going to break up some of these harsh colors that we have going on. Now using a tapered um, crease brush from BH Cosmetics, this is smaller. The Morphe M441 is a little bit flatter but this has a rounder curve to it. I'm going to use this to really detail on the outside corner and in the crease and we're going to go back into our Urban Decay palette into the color Punk which is like a really kind of brownish cranberry, cranberry color. Brownish cranberry. So we're going to work this right on that outside corner. And this is the darkest color we're going to work with. So you kind of want to just focus that right on the outside V. And then go back again into the color Stark and also Anaheim back on your fluffy BH brush or any type of fluffy brush and just kind of bring that right across the brow bone area to make sure that you get rid of any harsh lines and you kind of just diffuse um, the colors that you've placed there. The um, next thing we're going to do is go in with this um, High Five Super Shock Cheek from ColourPop Cosmetics. This is actually a highlighter, but I love how reflective it is and how pearlized it is. So I actually want to blend that onto my eyelid. Um, so what I'm going to do is take the color Steady from the Urban Decay palette and also a little bit of Baby and blend them first. And then we'll pop that off with this High Five glitter color. So grab any type of flat eyeshadow brush. I'm going to just grab an off name brand and just wet it very gently. Mix your colors Steady and Baby. And if you don't have this palette, just grab any kind of like pinky and mauvey tones and just start cutting out the lid with it. Now we're putting that super shop color on top. And then on that last corner, I'm actually going to take another color. This is Boy Band from Color Pop Cosmetics. This is an actual super shock shadow. And it has um, almost like a bronzy, sort of penny colored, coppery color. And we're just going to use that also on a flat brush. And just kind of press this color right on that outside corner of the V just to add some depth and to kind of enhance that smoky color that we had there. Hey 
guys, so I went ahead and did my other eye, and now we're going to start dusting away some of that bake. So using a setting brush from Real Techniques, I'm just going to come in here and pull this color, the translucent color, down, and then swipe off the edge, because remember we had that guide there. So now you should have a nice kind of sharp line, and it should be very lifted. Um, using a fluffy brush from It Cosmetics, I'm just going to dust the rest of my face, making sure that everything is blended in. Before I go ahead and powder up more, I want to work on the underneath portion of my eyes to keep give it like more of that smoky look. So using a Sigma E30 brush, we're going to go into that color Punk and take that about three quarters of the way in, starting from the outside. And I just kind of blend this upward too towards my crease because I want it to be very lifted and smoky. Now we're going to go into the color zone and take that also three quarters of the way in. And if you want to, you can also take it from the corner of the eye, your brush, and just pull it up gently so it has like that kind of smokier effect. So it like trails off and it doesn't look like a harsh line underneath your eye. Now we're going to go in with a BH Cosmetics detailing brush. And we're going to take the color it's Anaheim and Stark and blend those two on this brush. And just kind of pull that from the inside corner and trace onto the other colors. This is just the blending colors to kind of pull everything together. Okay, so now we are going to set this entire face. And I'm going to be using my trusty Studio Fix um, powder foundation in the color NC35. And I always like to apply it with a flat brush, of course, from It Cosmetics, because this is my favorite. And you're just going to take this and press it in all over your face. And just very gently dust this underneath your neck. I kind of like dust it and then I also press it. I'm going to use this Morphe um, 9C palette, which is what I'm also going to be using to highlight and contour my face. But I'm going to take a mixture of these two softer yellow colors on my G40 brush and just kind of dust this underneath my eyes and down the bridge of my nose in the same kind of a shape that we apply the concealer so it adds brightness and just kind of like brightens right in the center of the face here. Okay, so I'm going to be using this palette to contour and I'm going to actually contour off camera as well as put my blush and my bronzer. Um, pretty much the same routine but I will come back for the highlight because today we're going to be using the NYX Duo Chromatic Illuminating Powder and this is Lavender Steel and we're going to mix that with Super Shock Cheek High Five which we also used on our lids just to create a really pretty cool highlighted look. Alright guys, so I went ahead and I contoured and I also put on some brows and um, also put on some blush. For blush today I'm using my tried and true MAC Cosmetics um, Desert Rose. I just love it. It looks so good, especially with cooler toned eyes. And for liner today we're going to be using the Curvitude Liquid Liner from Maybelline and i um, just going to show you a little bit on camera pretty much shown this before in other videos but I love it because it has a really nice curved angle to it and um, it's just really easy to build. It does have more of a wet finish this liquid liner so if you want something very mattifying probably not for you guys but what I like to do is take the curved portion and just kind of gently pull it downward instead of pulling up to make my um, wing at the end. 
and then just kind of drag it across my eye. And just get really close to your lash line because you don't want to have any gaps in there. You want it to really blend in nicely. And sometimes there's a little bit of a gap between where your lid is and where your lashes go. So you want to make sure that you really press this into that area. Okay guys, so my eyeliner is on. Now I want to apply my highlighter for you. So I'm gonna break up some of this powder that we have on our face. And to do that, I'm gonna use my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. So let's do that. Um, while this is about to dry, we are almost dry. We're gonna take this NYX um, Chromatic Highlighting Powder. And again, this is in Lavender Steel, and we're gonna use a Morphe B13 brush and just kind of swirl that around. Find the high point of the cheekbone. And just kind of circle and drag this along there. And then to top it off, we're gonna go back into that ColourPop color, high five, and also swirl that around on our brush and just add it right to the lavender. You're gonna get a lot of blind with this, so you might need to tone it down. Um, I tend to go a bit over the top with it. And I'm gonna dust the tip of my nose and the Cupid's bow. Moving on to the mascara, the mascara. <laughs> Not even the mascara. Moving on to the mascara. We're going to use the Colossal Big Shot uh, Makeup by Shayla. I have yet to try this. I am going to curl my lashes just because it's a habit. So I'm going to use my Tweezerman uh, Rose Gold Lash Curler. First impression. I love the packaging of it. I love how golden and glossy it is. I like the little bubbles here on the wand. I like the wand. There's no little chemically, but nothing too strong. Let's tilt our head. Okay, let's see. I always have to like do this awkward face when I do mascara. Huh. Okay, well, it's there. I don't know. Do you ever put on a mascara and it comes out like so gooey and thick and you just think like, oh my gosh, this is going to be like so glossy and bomb on my lashes. And then once you start getting it into the lashes, it, it looks like it's barely on. It's kind of what I'm feeling with this, but let's see. Sometimes on this angle, it's hard to tell. I'm just going to try to like wiggle it in there. Oh, it's like falling short for me. I don't know. I... I think I had a lot of like really high expectations for this, especially since it's like labeled baddest black. Like I just thought it would be really intense and I mean it's pretty. I can't like I don't hate it. Some mascaras you put on and like the um, lash sensational curvitude literally took the wand out of the package and the wand bent and I was like no I'm done uh, literally seven dollars in the drain threw it down the garbage no didn't work but um I don't have that vibe with this it's just that I also don't have that like yes vibe you know what I mean don't think I'm going to do a second coat of the big colossal I actually think I'm going to open up my lash sensational full fan effect so um, again I love the curve of this brush and I like the luscious formula which actually doesn't even have as good of reviews as this one so well, let's say oh I like the curve I'm getting right now okay okay we see you girls we see you Yep. Yes. This is what I was talking about. All right. Well, we gave it a try and I'm not knocking Shayla because I think that, um, 
she did an awesome job with it and it's not like I said it's not the worst mascara in the world um, it's just definitely not something I would grab right away but this is good I think if you were going to use this underneath falsies this would be a really good primer because it's stiff and all right, you guys, so for the lips today, I use the NYX um, Cosmetics, NYX Professional. I don't know what they're officially called now because they changed names a little bit. But um, I use the NYX Professional Makeup Prune Lip Pencil, and I absolutely love their pencils. Um, I definitely think they have the stain power and just the longevity and color deposit similar to MAC Cosmetics. And then for lipstick, I use the R&B from ColourPop. I really love the warmth in this, but I love it mixed with the cool of the prune. So I think the mixture of the two gives it a really pretty kind of um, maroony, burgundy, raisiny color. And I think it really offsets the eye look as well. So this is the completed look. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm trying really hard to get more videos to you guys. And um, I know that I probably will not see you for another week or so. But every time that I get the free opportunity to do so, I will try to film for you. Um, I really hope you, like I said, enjoyed this tutorial. Um, again, not a huge fan of the Colossal Mascara from uh, the Makeup Shayla. And um, it's not a horrible mascara. It just really didn't cut it so much for me. But I really like Lash Sensational. Um, I like the feeling of my lashes with it. They feel really fanned and flirty and fun. And they don't feel as crunchy and sticky. So yeah. Um, if you guys like this, give me a thumbs up and um, subscribe to my channel, please, if you haven't already. Comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys and love to hear what you want to see next. As always, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you again really soon.